Welcome everyone to another episode of our podcast. Today we have an incredibly special guest with us, Larry Donovan, a highly regarded motivational coach. Larry, it's an absolute pleasure to have you on our show. Thank you for having me, Susan. It's great to be here. Larry, our topic today is overcoming motivational challenges. To start us off, could you share some insight into what you think are some of the most common motivational challenges people face? Absolutely, Susan. One of the most common challenges I've noticed is procrastination. Many people struggle with getting started on a task or a goal, usually because the task may seem too daunting or they might fear the outcome. Another common issue is fear of failure. People often hold themselves back because they worry about what will happen if they don't succeed. Lack of self-confidence, unclear goals, and lack of direction are also common barriers to motivation. That's insightful, Larry. It's clear that these barriers to motivation are quite pervasive. Can we dive into the first one you mentioned, procrastination? What advice do you have for someone struggling with this issue? Procrastination is a complex issue, but one effective strategy is to break down the task into smaller, more manageable parts. When a task seems too overwhelming, it's easy to put it off. But by breaking it down, it feels more achievable, which can motivate people to get started. Another helpful tactic is to set specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound goals often referred to as SMART goal. Having a clear, attainable goal can help one stay focused and motivated. Those are some excellent strategies, Larry. Now let's move on to the fear of failure. It's a motivational challenge that seemed to affect a lot of people. How can one overcome this particular barrier? Fear of failure is quite prevalent, Susan, and it's important to recognize that failure is a part of life and learning. It's not the absence of failure, but our reaction to it that shapes our growth and development. One of the ways to overcome this fear is by reframing how we perceive failure. Instead of viewing it as a negative outcome, it can be seen as a learning opportunity, a stepping stone to success. This change in perspective can significantly alleviate the fear and enhance motivation. Another helpful approach is the practice of self-compassion. Being kind to oneself in the face of failure or setback reduces the fear and encourages risk, taking and continued effort. I love that. Reframing failure as a stepping stone to success and the importance of self-compassion. Now, what about those who struggle with a lack of self-confidence? How can they boost their motivation? A lack of self-confidence can certainly be a significant roadblock. Building self-confidence is a gradual process, but there are a few strategies that can help it. Firstly, celebrating small victories can boost one's self-esteem. When we recognize and acknowledge our achievements, no matter how small, we start to see ourselves as capable and competent, which in turn boosts confidence. Secondly, positive self-talk can also be beneficial. What we tell ourselves can significantly impact our self-perception. So, replacing negative self-talk with positive, encouraging messages can foster self-confidence and motivation. Lastly, learning new skills or improving existing ones can also boost self-confidence. There's a sense of accomplishment and confidence that comes from mastering something new or becoming better at something you're already doing. That's a valuable point, Larry. Recognizing achievements using positive self-talk and learning new skills can all contribute to a boost in self-confidence and motivation. So how about the challenge of unclear goals and lack of direction? What advice can you provide here? Having unclear goals or a lack of direction is indeed a common motivational challenge. When your end goal is unclear, it's difficult to feel motivated to take action. The solution to this challenge lies in setting clear, realistic goals. As I mentioned earlier, the SMART goal framework can be incredibly useful here. Your goal should be specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time bound. In addition to having clear goals, it's equally important to have a roadmap or action plan detailing the steps required to reach your goal. This provides direction and helps break down the journey into manageable parts, 
making the process less daunting and more approachable. Larry, I can't thank you enough for all the insights and practical tips you've shared with us today. As we wrap up, could you share some final thoughts or tips for our listeners who may be grappling with motivational challenges? Of course, Susan. My final advice would be to remember that motivation isn't a constant state. There will be ups and downs, and that's perfectly normal. When motivation wanes, don't be too hard on yourself. Instead, try to identify what's causing the dip. Is it fear of failure? Procrastination? Lack of self-confidence? Unclear goals? Once you've identified the root cause, you can address it using the strategies we've discussed today. And remember, it's okay to seek help. You don't have to do it all on your own. Whether it's reaching out to a mentor, hiring a coach like myself, or seeking support from friends and family, others can provide encouragement, different perspectives, and practical advice. That's an empowering note to end on, Larry. Thank you once again for joining us today and for your invaluable contribution to this discussion. I'm sure our listeners have gained a lot from it. And to our listeners, remember, the journey to overcoming motivational challenges begins with recognizing the barriers and then actively using strategies to address them. You are more capable than you know, and there's no better time to start than now. Thanks for joining us, and we'll catch you in the next episode.